I said I was going to stop giving y'all tips, skills, and strategies to this business. But today, I had already promised myself I was going to do a, uh, a thing on trucker math. And uh, I just got to do this because, because I feel like it. <laughs> because I feel like it. Uh, and it's fun. It's, a, it's actually a lot of fun. Um, but today's question is 65 miles per hour or 75 miles per hour. 65 versus 75 miles per hour. Uh, and to make the math a little bit easier, you can check my math. Uh, to make it, the math a little bit easier, we're just going to go say a typical run for me is a uh, thousand miles. So let's do a thousand miles. And so I already know, I know some of the numbers. I know my, my numbers from uh, loaded. Typically I'm getting um, 12 miles per gallon loaded. It's because of how my truck is configured. You got to know how your truck and trailer are configured and how long it is. You know, what you got on the deck. There's 24 feet right there, plus the ramps is, uh, huh. <laughs> 25 plus five. I thought my truck was 20 plus five. It's not, it's longer. Unbelievable. I gotta tell my uh, dispatcher this. That's crazy. <laughs> it's freaking crazy. Um, I've been, if you watch my other videos, you'll get a lot of clues about how to be efficient in this in this business and how to make money in the most efficient manner. Um, today's lesson, obviously, we're gonna go. I just said a thousand miles. I already know that. Uh, 65 miles per hour I'm gonna get 12 loaded I'm gonna get 12 miles per gallon and at so just go just go 10 I want to write it in a different color ink 10 right here a different type of ink Ten. Oh, that's 12. That's funny. 12, and this is 10 MPG. There you go. <laughs> I'm cracking myself up right now because this thing keeps slipping down. <laughs> it's it's freaking cracking me up. It's funny. Um. <clears throat> all right, so we got. Uh, and typically I already use, I always use round numbers because in my head, I can always figure out, uh, what something is going to cost me in fuel and fuel is, is my next biggest exp expense right next to my, my salary and the salary is easier to figure out. I'll do another, um, another, uh, another video on that, but, but, but basically we have, uh, $3.00. At three dollars per gallon, I know how much this is going to cost me for a thousand miles, and it's going to at twelve miles per gallon. It's and I know how long it's going to take me. It's 83, 83 gallons at 12 MPG, and it's it's right at 100 gallons. Mm -hmm. At 10. MPG, okay. And so the difference, <clears throat> and so to get the, obviously to to get the cost, it's easy. You just go times times three. 
times three dollars a gallon and you'll get three hundred bucks uh, <laughs> I thought I figured this out 17 times or 83 times three nine two two hundred and seventy nine Two hundred and forty nine. Two hundred and forty nine bucks. Yep, that's right. Two four nine. So two hundred and forty nine dollars is the cost uh, at sixty five miles per hour and three hundred dollars is the cost at ten miles per gallon. Time equals money. So, when we solve for time, uh, so all we do is to get the time for a thousand miles, you divide a thousand by a thousand divided by 75 and a thousand divided by 65 equals. fastest time you're going to get there is 13.3 hours 13.3 hours and then versus 15.3 hours the question my friends is whether or not that two hours is worth the difference between these prices it's 51 dollars right so are you willing to trade two hours for 51 dollars Two hours for fifty-one dollars. That's the question. That's the bottom line. Um, I'm not. I'm, I'm just gonna kind of skip to the skip to the chase. I'm not willing to to go seventy-five miles per hour versus sixty-five for a lot of reasons. Maintenance costs, fuel filters. If I'm going through more fuel then I'm gonna to have to change my fuel filter sooner than I do with that. And also for $51, it's 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 actually more, You and you'd have to be a driver. Um, this is the owner side. This is the difference between an owner and a driver. An owner operator understands the reasons behind this. A driver doesn't care because a driver is like just taking up company money and just, you know, just spending it. He doesn't care unless he's getting a bonus then he would care but so in maintenance suspension suspension bearings tires okay tire wear um, axle uh, axle lubrication minor oil bath but you know you're gonna you're gonna change all that stuff and also your cargo. Your cargo is going to appreciate the difference between 65 versus 75. Now, I do have a shocker hitch, so that helps, but your chains and stuff won't loosen as much, your straps won't loosen as much if you're going slower, and you will get less tired at, um, at 65 miles per hour versus 75 miles per hour over the, over the course of a thousand miles now to do the math for a shorter run or a longer run it's pretty easy you know if, if um if you go on 500 miles then everything's just cut in half so it's half of 83 half of 100 uh so this is like 41 gallons and this is 50 gallons this is uh 125 versus 150 and the, these times right here are obviously uh, six and a half hours versus seven and a half hours, roughly. Uh, and then you would cut that in half as well. So, so here's here's the thing. So, so say you have to make 
um, sometimes this difference, you should go faster. So if, you, if you've got a load that has to be delivered on time and the difference is going to mean the difference between your gross sales for that day going down, then you would, you would, you would definitely want to get there faster, a little bit faster, as opposed to, um, as to not getting there as fast. Now, you know, on a 250 mile run, the differences between these are only 30 minutes. But that, if that difference is significant, then, you know, by all means, go faster. Uh, if it's not, it doesn't make any sense. And I, I see dudes taking chances with their equipment, with their lives and other people's lives going 80. And to me, it's just not worth it. I would really appreciate your comments and your questions. Um, in fact, we have some. Hey, what's up, Tia? Yes, I do have a YouTube channel. Dark Horse 2 Rain. D-A-R-K. My YouTube channel is D-A-R-K. Horse 2 R-E-I-G-N. Dark Horse 2 Rain on YouTube. Uh, and I'll, I'll be posting this on YouTube soon. So yeah, bearing and engine wear will be more of a function of distance than speed, at least at those speeds. Um, I mean, I mean, perhaps, um, perhaps, I'm not a mechanic, so I, I don't know. But um, yeah, hooray for math. This is a way to predict if a run is gonna be pr profitable for you, how long it's gonna take you or should take you, it just gives you some targets. That, that you can shoot for um, that you can shoot for and it's easy to do this type of math in your head when I do when I do the three dollars per for uh, three dollars a gallon for diesel I can always figure out in my head what something is gonna cost because I know these numbers I know my speeds and I know uh, my equipment well enough like I like I was talking to it like I was talking about in the beginning you have to know your numbers uh, or, or you can just calculate them, and I'll do a. I'd be happy to do a, uh, a video on that in the future. I'm really curious to see what your questions are and what your comments are. Thanks for watching, as usual. So, Davis and. Oh yeah, how did you get so many subscribers on my YouTube channel? I don't have enough. <laughs> I need more. I need more subscribers. So anyway, check me out, man. Uh, subscribe. I appreciate you. Peace.